Hi, welcome to Healthy Food Happy You. I'm your host, Gina Lewis. We at Healthy Food Happy You would like to show you some simple ways to maintain your sanity, health, and happiness, and make a positive impact on the world through healthful eating. Today's episode is in honor of Thanksgiving, and this is definitely going to be my favorite episode. I can feel it. This is the perfect time of year to show your family how thankful you are for them and for the world around you by sharing a feast that is truly peaceful and healthful. Today, our guest, La Vida, is going to help you get in the Thanksgiving mood by sharing one of her favorite recipes for sweet potato pie with an oat date crust. La Vida is the founder of Vida's Eatery and Vida's Vegan Ventures blog. That is a mouthful. www.vidasveganventures wordpress.com. She also hosts vegan cooking services. Welcome to the show, Levita. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Yes. It's always a privilege Aww. to be able to talk about healthy vegan cooking. Absolutely. And the joys of cooking vegan food. And share this with others. Yes. Why not? So when we asked you to help us share with the viewers a Thanksgiving dessert, what made you pick this dessert? Well, sweet potato pie is a traditional dessert. You know, it's traditional, at least in my family and in Memphis, Tennessee, where I'm from, to have sweet potato pie mm -hmm. on the table for Thanksgiving. And it's one of my absolute favorite desserts. And as a vegan who has modified a great deal uh, the foods that I grew up eating, the sure. dishes that I grew up preparing, I look for recipes that are simple and that uh, the, the ingredients are easy to find. Yes. You know, in your regular Simplicity. grocery stores, you, you don't have to go out of your way to find these um, ingredients. What are some so, of the benefits of the sweet potato? Oh, there are lots of benefits of the sweet potato. Um, sweet potatoes are high in vitamin B6, and B6 is linked to um, heart disease or preventing, preventing heart disease. Uh, it's a good source of vitamin D, and we know vitamin D, uh, we think of it as the sunshine vitamin, but you must have good stores of vitamin D in order to ward off diseases and to build up your immune system. Your general uh, well-being, right? Yes, your I moods, um, um, yeah. People vitamin. that don't live in sunny areas, they say they have like a little more depression, they're a little more prone to depression. Yes. So this would be something really good for yes. you. So it actually, some, some experts say, you know, consuming adequate amounts of vitamin D would be helpful in preventing depression even, or will help alleviate depression. Also, sweet potatoes have a great amount of iron in them, and iron gives us energy, um, among other things, and also they're a great source of magnesium and potassium. Potassium is helps prevent um, swelling or helps heal swelling. So we're talking about sweet potatoes being good for inflammation in the body. It's also a great source of sugar. I mean, they're sweet, but, uh, they're naturally sweet, and it's the kind of sweetness and sugar that goes into your bloodstream slowly, and so you don't have the um, spikes in blood sugar that are linked to diabetes. Um, and it's also a great source of beta carotene slash vitamin A, um, which is so such a great antioxidant and great for your eyes. Yes. And great against aging. Like a miracle food. Yes. Sounds like a great fitness food as well if you want something for maybe a long run to yes. give you that. A great source long, of carbohydrates, yes. Yes. And long so endurance energy. Yes. And so they're very vo versatile. You can bake them, you can steam them as we're gonna do right now. So I'm just adding these chunks of potato to the steamer basket. And you want a nice pot with a nice fitting lid so you can create nice steam and circulation in the pot. And these will be steamed in no time. They'll be tender and ready to go. Yeah, that looks very simple. So we're gonna make the crust next. Yes. We're gonna get our food processor and be right back. Stay tuned, you won't wanna miss Alrighty, we are back with our food processor, and this looks like a super easy crust. It is. Okay, awesome. so tell us what we use. 
So it's super easy because we are simply using oats. These are whole oats and we have a dash of salt in, in here with the oats. This is about a cup and a half of oats and a dash of salt. And we're also using dates okay. that have already been pitted and we're using oil and water. Okay, easy enough. Yes, and I have to say the, the recipe that I modified to, to arrive at this set of ingredients, it, that recipe had peanuts as well as walnuts in the crust. And I am a teacher and I sure. first made these for graduation reception for my school mm -hmm. and there are a lot of kids with nut allergies. Right. So I modified the recipe and I just put together that the nuts were probably supplying fat so I, inc I increased the, uh, the oil yeah. a little bit, and then I added a few more dates um, than the recipe called for to come up with this version of a nut-free free pie crust. I love that you're showing a modified version so moms at home can pack this in their kids' lunches and not have to worry about other kids or, you mm -hmm. know, if their own kid has a nut allergy. Yes. Um, so this looks like it's going to be chocked full of nutrition as well, and when we think of dessert, we don't think about being wonderful for yeah. you. Right. But oats. Mm -hmm. Oats have a great number of benefits as did the sweet potatoes, the yeah. sweet potatoes. So for oats, they are great um, for preventing um, high cholesterol. Mm -hmm. uh, they raise your good cholesterol. So they're good for any kind of heart conditions or prevention of heart conditions. Uh, they go slowly into your, uh, uh, the sugar or the carbohydrates. It's a sure. good source of carbohydrates because it does not um, shoot up your blood sugar level. Uh, oats are also great for blood pressure, yes. reduction of blood pressure, yes. or just prevention of high blood pressure. They help with bowel function. Right. So if you want to be regular, regular, oats are a great thing to consume. Have a bowl every day before work, so you're de-stressed and you're regular. Yes, <laughs> very good. And so they're great for athletes and great for um, weight control. We're gonna turn the potatoes down a bit. It's getting so you can see us through the smoke. Spooky. I'll I'll take the lid off. All right. That looks delicious. Yeah. I can't wait to see the finished product. Now dates. Oh. A lot of benefits. Yeah, well, a lot of benefits. But you know, I have a fad dieter friend who swears that you have to stay away from dates because of the sugar in them. And I love dates. Mm -hmm. And I feel like they give me fuel and energy. And Yes. And yes, I think it's important that if we're going to be vegan that we understand the distinctions between sugars. You know, to say that, say, the sugar in a date or the sugar in stevia is the same as any other sugar, I think is a misconception. Absolutely. And it's incorrect. So white sugar or high fructose corn syrup is definitely not the same thing as the sugar uh, that we find in dates. Yeah. And dates has so many benefits, including um, it helps with constipation. Sure. Like it'll keep you regular just like the <laughs> oats will and any kind of intestinal um, disorders you might have, it'll alleviate that. It'll sure. help with weight gain. It'll help keep your heart healthy. It'll help with the libido. Oh, honey. <laughs> yes. We'll make honey, this for dessert. Dates, honey, and, and Valentine's milk. Day, great, too. Great for the libido. Yes, Valentine's Day. Yes. Um, and A great little Thanksgiving, <laughs> baby. <laughs> <laughs> and great for prevention of abdominal cancer. Okay. All right, so lots of benefits today. Yes, absolutely. Little this is one out. of many brands of food yes. processors. So we're going to start by putting our one and a half cups of dates in here. And the idea is that you want to mix the dates or pulse the dates until it resembles cornmeal. Okay. Okay. So see how the, the texture is changing. Yeah. So that's pretty good. And then once it resembles cornmeal, we add our dates. Okay. Here, I'll do the dates. The easy part, and just dump them all in? Yes. Thank you. And you can pulse it. Okay, that's so just pulse. Oh, that's the water. And we're just about there. Is it, do you want to pulse, or do you just want to hit? Let's just let it go for a few seconds. Okay, 
And this is pretty thoroughly mixed, so once that's done, we can add our oil. Three tablespoons. Mm, three tablespoons of, this is canola oil. Okay. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and add our water, which has been chilled, and this is three. Is it important to chill the water? Yes, but you can, you can get away with, um, with it not with being it chilled, not but being the chilled. recipes generally say chill. Chill just it. to help it kind of stick together mm -hmm. a little bit better. Okay. So we have a pie plate that we've already sprayed with um, cooking spray. Sure. And a neutral one, like a canola oil cooking spray. Okay. And what I love about this crust is that it doesn't involve any kneading and it doesn't involve any Thank rolling. <laughs> We're simply gonna press Bless you. this mixture into the pan. We're gonna press it evenly up the sides and up over the bottom. Another good task to have your kids do with you in the kitchen. You can have them start the yes. pressing of the crust while you move on. We cut out some fat because I think uh, oftentimes in crust, people might put butter. Mm, sticks. Or sh shortening Stick or butter. something like that. And right. Yes. I don't understand why, you know, people feel like their desserts have to be horribly unhealthy to be insanely delicious. They really don't. Right. And you that's... You can fuel your body and feed your soul at the same time. Yes. You want to help? Sure. You can... So we're just going to press this evenly and go up the sides as well. Make sure the pie plate is covered and ready for our delicious filling. Sounds great. All right. So once we have the, this pie crust mixture all pressed in and ready to go, we can move on to the filling. Looks this wonderful. Is, should look something like this. All right, so we'll sit this to the side and start on our filling. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. For years, scientists have explored remote corners of the Earth, searching for exotic substances that might help prevent cancer. At last, man has discovered a secret place where powerful remedies can actually be found. Medical research shows that a vegetarian diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains can help prevent many types of cancer. Wherever you live, cancer prevention is as close as your grocery store. To learn more, call 866-906-WELL. All right, we're back and we're ready to make the filling. Yes, and it's as simple as the crust was. We have several ingredients that we're just simply gonna dump into the food processor and press on and let it, let it rip. So there are the sweet potatoes which have steamed. They were steamed and ready to go by the time we finish the crust. And we have silken tofu. Okay. And we have raw sugar, vanilla, cornstarch, nutmeg, cinnamon, and a dash of salt, and we have almond milk. For the right. recipe, they can go online and yes. get the recipe. Yes, you can visit my blog and you'll find this recipe. The tofu, firm? Silken, this silken. is silken. And it's actually extra firm, but okay. it's the silken. Extra firm, silken tofu. Yes. <laughs> All set. Easy. Not bad. <laughs> Since we're so accustomed to seeing nutmeg and cinnamon in jars yes. in powder form, I think it's interesting just to see what these look like. So this is a whole nutmeg. Nutmeg. And it's really it's even more delightful when you actually grate the actual nut. Had no idea you could do it. <laughs> I didn't even know it was really a nut. Yes. And here's a cinnamon stick. All right, so powder, you know, cinnamon is the bark mm, of a tree. That smells so good. With lots of healing properties as well, so. That's true. And we just And we just dump pour it. it, pour this right into the crust. Now, how hot should our oven be? 350. 350, I'll start the oven. Whew. 
So we've got our oven going. Yes. And we just dumped this into that easy pie crust. This was the easiest pie <laughs> ever. I thought I had an easy pie recipe. This is an easy pie recipe. How long do you leave it in the oven at 350? 50 to 55 minutes. Alrighty, so go watch that Thanksgiving parade <laughs> and then get it out of the oven in 50 minutes. Yes. So All let's right. put it in the oven. Okay. All righty, well, we'll be back to enjoy <laughs> our delicious Thanksgiving feast and talk about some common misconceptions about plant-based eating, and this is for sure, you won't want to miss this. We got some powerful discussion coming up. See you in a bit. Hi, this is Sherilyn Tompkins, one of the hosts with Healthy Food Happy You TV show on FPA Channel 10. Be sure to check out the show every second Wednesday at 9.30 a.m., every second Friday at 5.30 p.m., and every second Sunday at 6 a.m. The show is dedicated to a vegan plant-based lifestyle as well as all the activities to keep you a healthier, happier you. So check out the website at www.healthyfoodhappyyou.com. Thanks and peace. Hello there. While Vita's pie is baking in the oven, I actually prepared a surprise Thanksgiving feast for us as a thank you for coming to the show and wow. sharing a wonderful <laughs> recipe with us and also to show the viewers at home that you don't have to sacrifice your traditional Thanksgiving food. You can substitute many things for your turkey, your green bean casserole, your mac and cheese, your stuffing, your cranberry sauce is plant-based anyway. Um, they also have recipes online for vegan deviled eggs. Have you seen them? No. It's amazing. <laughs> I, I, when I saw it, I was just blown away because they look like deviled eggs and taste like deviled eggs. So I will be definitely be doing that for my family this year. Mm -hmm. um, but this is also, you, you do this for a living. So I'm sure you'll be able to give me the lowdown on some tweaks to my recipes and yes. um, if viewers at home would you like some field roast yes I would if viewers at home would like to come up with some <clears throat> ways to replace some of their their options with plant-based options mm -hmm. you could help them with that yes I can um, if you visit my blog uh, Vita's Vegan Ventures uh, dot wordpress.com I have a number of uh, recipes that would be quite appropriate for Thanksgiving um, today we made the sweet potato pie but I also have some other sweet potato based recipes for example um, for candy yams my family we love to make orange glazed sweet potatoes so it's like oh, candy yams yummy. except there is a glaze that's made with um, orange juice uh, rather than just like white sugar and uh, lots of butter. Instead, there's orange juice, there's a vegan butter substitute, Earth Balance, mm -hmm. uh, that I use. I also uh, love to make uh, mac and cheese for my family. And I see that your version uh, probably has nutritional yeast. Yes. And nutritional yeast is a staple that we keep in our pantry at home. And it's a great uh, way to make uh, cheese. Uh, mm -hmm. Nutritional yeast is very cheesy and nutty uh, tasting. Yes. And so we use it sometimes in pesto, but also again when we make uh, vegan mac and cheese, uh, nutritional yeast is a, a great substitute there. Uh, I also make dressing, and I don't necessarily have a recipe for dressing on my blog however if that's something you're interested in making and you tell me about your traditional recipe and whether or not it has eggs or um, dairy I can tell you what to substitute so if you contact me about any any Thanksgiving dish or your Thanksgiving menu I can definitely help you uh, by supplying a long long list of substitutions I love that because a lot of 
um, you know, why people don't change their eating habits is they don't know how. Right. And it helps to have a mentor um, yeah. you know, that's an expert in the business to yes. And to I would love you. to do that. Yeah. And I have um, some lessons that are going to be coming up leading up to Thanksgiving that will address just that. There are people who contact me usually around the holidays right, Christmas, to help get ready for the New holidays years. and as they go into New Year's because they're interested in making resolutions. Yes. So they, they're they very interested in substitutions that they can make. I mean, lo lots of us, we want to be healthier mm -hmm. and we just simply need some help, uh, some guidance, some suggestions about what to substitute for those things that are not as healthy uh, right. that we've been consuming. So. Well, that leads me into my next question. Why have you chosen to live a plant-based life? I love that question. <laughs> <laughs> um, I became interested in a plant-based life mainly uh, from a health perspective. I, um, my mother she was diagnosed with cancer in 1995, and she passed away from cancer in 1996. But in an effort to not feel totally hopeless uh, about her illness, I just started to read and to study uh, cancer in particular, and I encountered so much information about food and how food is a major, major, perhaps the most major factor that uh, contributes to either health and longevity or contributes to disease and degeneration. So wow. I was interested in a plant-based life to, so that I and so that my own children and, and, and my immediate family wouldn't have to you know, be burdened with illness, yeah. illness that is um, within our control in that it Absolutely. is connected to what we are feeding ourselves. That's so, really powerful. Um, and I think it's powerful to to eat this way because we're taking control mm -hmm. of our health and it's also a way to, um, when you serve food to people and you teach them how to eat, it's something that perpetuates itself. Absolutely. Uh, you know, when my children become adults, they will know an alternative way to eat and sure. they will have their own families and um, and they will be sharing this, and this, this knowledge that I have will keep going and going uh, and going. You know, I often hear people say that there's no way they could eat like this. They don't have the willpower, or they don't want to just give up meat. <clears throat> and this isn't really a diet or a lifestyle that you do for yourself. This is a lifestyle you live so that your children can have a compassionate, ethical, role model so you can be around to mm -hmm. watch your babies and your grandbabies and your right. great ba grandbabies grow up and <clears throat> so you could possibly even help reduce some of the mass animal slaughter that's going on or the toxic runoff from the animal farms mm -hmm. that gets into our water and our crops and this is something you do if you truly want to live your best life, your most energetic, mm -hmm. your most full, and actually be in life. Um, this is just far more powerful mm -hmm. than emotional eating. One of the most powerful s stickers that I saw at the Animal Rights Conference was, um, it said, peace begins in the kitchen. Yes. And I, and I, I agree. I love that. Wholeheartedly. That's yes. a beautiful saying. It sounds like your pie is done, and <laughs> that really is the highlight of this meal. So mm -hmm. we're going to take a little bit of a break and scarf down our dinner and get to this <laughs> yummy pie that Vita has made for us. Thank you. So stick with us. I know we touched on some tough emotional <laughs> topics, but hopefully I hit home with you, and um, we'll be back in just a few minutes. And we are back to my favorite part of the episode, the dessert. This smells so good. I can't wait to <laughs> dig in. Oh, it smells so yummy. All right, are we ready to dig in? Yes. Cheers. Is that what you say when you dig in? <laughs> yes. <clears throat> oh, heaven, heaven. Mm. Mm. I could die, happy girl. Mm. When I'm home and I do this, mm, oh, I know. my kids say, you can't do that oh. about your own food. Oh, you I'll can. Say, oh, this is when such it's this good. 
sweet potato pie. When it's this good, it is so creamy. You've got <laughs> to make this recipe. So if you are interested in trying to prepare an entirely plant-based meal for your family and friends that will knock their socks off this Thanksgiving but are unsure about where to start, mm -hmm. contact Avita at vitasveganventures at gmail.com and she can help you meal plan. Um, she'll provide yummy recipes and you can even hire her to do a cooking lesson. So maybe you could do like a trial run for your Thanksgiving meal in the kitchen before you put on a big show for the Thanksgiving mm -hmm. day. You don't want to run into any snags on the big day. Um, you don't have to sacrifice <laughs> traditional Thanksgiving feast here. You can actually mm -hmm. use amazing substitutions for your turkey, your stuffing, your green bean casserole, pumpkin pie, and even deviled eggs. And Vita can show you where to start. So I've often done things like this for my family and they had no idea, no animals were harmed in the making of this meal. This is phenomenal. Thank you. No matter what background, what diet you follow, Thank this you. is perfect for it. Thank you. And so simple. It's so simple. Yeah. You're on a low fat diet. This is still wonderful for mm -hmm. it. Yes. So why not do good deeds with your Thanksgiving cooking this year and know that you're providing your family with a nourishing meal that they can truly be thankful for. Visit us at healthyfoodhappyyou.com to view previous episodes of our show, mm -hmm. download recipes and more. We'd love to see pictures of your plant-based Thanksgiving celebrations and your lessons with Vida. So please feel free to post those, share them on our Facebook page. And thank you for watching Healthy Food Happy You. See you next time. Happy Thanksgiving.